call to me. Can you imagine having a friend say, when you feel alone, call me and I will be with you. When you feel overwhelmed, call me and I will help you. When you feel like a failure or a fraud, call me and I will remind you how truly loved you really are. Just call me. I have given you a direct line and I am here for you every moment of every day. What an amazing promise from an incredible friend whose name is Jesus. That's because most of us have struggled through tough times. We've worried, been alone, afraid, been broke, or felt broken. During those hard times, wouldn't it be nice to have someone we could call on no matter what? Our go-to person would have to be someone pretty special who knows our history, understands our struggles, truly loves us, and wants what's best for us. That's why God wants to be our go-to guy. He knew our history before we were even born. He knows our worries and troubles. And most of all, He loves us. Yes, God wants to be the first one we call. And God never said anything like, in your times of trouble, I'll answer after you fast for one week and lose at least five pounds. Instead, God simply urges, call on me at least 57 different times throughout the Bible. When our kids were little, we taught them God's phone number. It's in Jeremiah 33.3, where God says, call to me and I will answer. 33.3 means call on me. It's God's way of saying, you have a direct line to me, so use it. Our God is only a whisper away, both day and night. He's more attentive than a mommy sleeping next to a baby monitor. Because he is constantly listening, he hears our every prayer and is waiting to help. Jeremiah 33.3 means call on me. All we need to do is open our lips. It takes no training, skill, or special talent. Let's call on God together right now. Dear Jesus, I'm calling on you because I want to thank you for loving me, because I'm afraid, because I'm worried about something, because someone I care about is hurting. You know what else to say. God is listening and loves it when you call. God's truths are so simple and He is so near. But the enemy wants to try and complicate things by telling you that you are so bad, that God doesn't want to hear from you, 